Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1986. This is Terra Crestor on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released by Imagine, or basically Ocean, in 1986. Also released on the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad, based on the arcade machine of the same name, released by Nichibutsu in 1985, which is actually a follow-up to Mooncrestor, but a little bit more involved, as it's a proper, proper vertical based shoot 'em up this time. you still got the element of adding to your craft, but this version on the Spectrum, hang on is done by the late great legend spectrum god joffa smith may you rest in peace you can tell that by the time we get into the game because you see the lives are represented by ducks much like they were on another one of his games another classic cobra now this got so so reviews which i'll shut up a minute it's 48k only but it's still pretty good music Obviously, it's using the beeper. But yeah, it only got so so reviews. I think I may have loved it because I had a soft spot for the arcade machine that I played in that arcade we always went to in Westwood Ho. I think it's because, unless my brain has made this up in the subsequent years and I'm now imagining it as a false memory, once you collected all the parts of your craft, could you go one stage further in Phoenix? I don't know, I may be confusing this with Battle of the Planets. But anyway, I loved it in the arcade. I think I could only get like two power-ups and never actually got to the end of the stage. I just did a gameplay of this and I got to the end of the stage without any power-ups because I was shit, but forgot to record it. Oh well, that is epic. You'll have to take my word for it because it's bullet hell, balls hard, and um, yeah, I suck at it. Anyway, five to find keys. Why did they never give us the option to have auto far? in these games without having to have a joystick because this is a game where you need it it turns your right arm uh if you're right-handed like me into popeye in about 13 seconds up down left right fire split right keys of champions some people go for space they're wrong fire should always be m1 keyboard right so it's it's shrunk the screen into a very small screen because these types of games in the arcade had you know monitors that were longer than they were wide right it's monochromic Oh, you can shoot ground-based objects, items, without having to have, like, bombs like you do in other games of this type, such as easier. You just fly at them and shoot them. Oh, there's a ton of stuff on the screen. Balls, including my atoms right now. Uh, with absolutely no slowdown. Loads of bullets, loads of craft, stuff like that. It's monochromic, but it does divide the, st the, the level up into sort of various points of colour like this. From the ocean to the sand and then there'll be like machinery mechanical which will be white but at no point does it turn into a slap fight and camouflage your bullets um it's balls hard though look but at least you can see the bullets now you will see hangers you have to shoot it starts off with one you see the first hanger which you can attach to your ship the the contents of the hanger not the hanger <laughs> that'd be free and stupid by shooting an object next to it then the second one is two I believe so forth and so on. Now, unlike other games, we were spoiled. I say we were spoiled by our type and Gradius. We weren't really spoiled. They kicked our asses. But they had a ton of power-ups. Games like this were a little bit more sedate in that department. Look. There you go. See, look. Oh, yeah. You get you essentially get a limited number of power-ups that you have to use to beat the entire game. I say limited. You upgrade your ship to the max. There were no sort of additional lasers, things like that. But when you get all the power-ups... Actually, firing backwards is pretty bloody useful. When you get all the power-ups, you can separate the components out around you. Now, if one of them gets hit, they don't die. But if you get hit, you die. But it increases your firepower. And... Ooh, come on. Fuck balls. Um... It increases your firepower and your spread of your weapons, but eventually they can't maintain it. will start flashing and then return to normal. Now, just now, I got to the first boss. I couldn't beat him because I had no power-ups. Uh, just as is. Just as is. It seems to me it's a conspiracy theory that every time... Well, it's probably not. It's just the limited AI of the game. Um, when you get to the hangers, 
Oh, fuck nuggets, I balls this up. That's when all the bad guys converge and just pump shit at you. That was shocking. Must remember to check before I record because my first effort's always my best effort, mainly because my Popeye forearm syndrome fatigue hasn't kicked in. Take my word for it. But yeah, I think this is actually a pretty decent representation of the arcade. Again, I don't know, it didn't get terrible reviews, it just got very average reviews. I don't know what it's like on any other version. Possibly, I should have done a gameplay of the arcade before I did this version. It would make sense, explaining my love of the arcade. But what can I say? Fuck, is what I can say. I don't think these things through properly. Just give me a fucking auto-fire game, that's all I ask. Obviously, well, you would cheat at the home versions, you know, you would have, like, Kempstons and Cheetahs, but... Joysticks. But I can't understand what they did in the arcade. The arcade's about just sucking your 10 peas in your, your, your quarters. Fuck off. By the way, those volcanoes would have little red things in them, wouldn't they, in the arcade? Draw my confusion out with Dragon Spirit. At some point, these all blur into one. And also, it doesn't matter how fast you hammer, again, I don't know if that's like the arcade, you cannot properly spit death. You can fucking die quite a lot, but then I never said I was any good at this. Also, it won't let me write funny names, because you have to rotate and hit fire. I always thought that was a bit shit. All right, thank you. <clears throat> but you know, graphically, I think it's rather right, quite nice. 1986 halfway through the Spectrum's life cycle. They're a lot better, but also they're a lot worse. Shoot em ups. I'm not saying shmup. Shmup is a stupid word. Why do you abbreviate shoot em ups? Is that not the greatest descriptive term in the history of the world ever? Apart from fuck, I just died. Which isn't an abbreviation. Fucker. There you go, that's an abbreviation of fuck, I just died. See, the problem with these games is the more you become frustrated, the more <laughs> you just ultimately just constantly tits it up. Ooh. And other words to that effect. I like these ones. They don't backtrack on you and come from behind. See what I mean? Now we've got, like, you know, a white background to represent machinery, mechanics. Ow, my arm. Ow, my friggin' ears! I'd say points for the quote, but that's an easy one. Now I've got hair in my eye. I'd never make a space pilot. I wonder if you can destroy them. It requires your power-ups. And I don't mean this weedy little one. Which is essentially useless, but obviously it is the first one. These are the bastards. And also, my problem with shooting ups like this is, I look too far to the top of the screen. So, oh, come on. Well, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? Too far to the top of the screen. So, um, shit finds my face because I'm concentrating on the background. Typical trope of all that I just lost. See, if you get shot, you lose your power up. You don't die. Obviously, if you've got no power ups, you die. But yeah, typical trope of shoot em ups at the time. Terrorists that come out of the water. Everyone was fuck off doing it. Why can't we? How far does it bump me back? Of course. Of course. Honestly, a turbo. My kingdom for a turbo. And also, if I could properly hammer it as well. There seems to be too many gaps in the spread, not the spread, the consistency of me firing. Give me a fucking chance. One more go, one more go. It's my fault, it's my fault, I should have recorded it the first time. Right. Hey, at least I'm consistently as bad as Equal Dave was in the arcade. Shut up. Thank you. So all in all, it's a good port. It's fucking hard, but then so is the original. If you had this back in the day, I'd love to know what you think. Especially if you had any of the other versions. Were there 16-bit versions? I don't think there were. 
They could be. Those tank traps, they're not tank traps, but that's what they remind me of from the beaches at Normandy and stuff like that. They're really iconic. Oh, fuck. I just remember... I don't know. I always remember those from the arcade. Can I get some light in your life? He says, shortly before he's about to die. If they didn't... Backtrack. It wouldn't be as bad. I guess it means try harder to shoot shake harder boy fuck off to shoot them before they come down right maybe I should stop firing and then shoot there is a little bit of bullet camouflage shoot when they're directly in front of me and obviously don't hang around at the back of the screen. There you go, Terror Crest on Zinclair ZX Spectrum. Did get to the end just now, honestly. Um, but yeah, my right arm's knackered. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially you had this back in the day, and have you played the arcade machine? And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.